The Airbus A220 is the aircraft of the future, with excellent efficiency, adequate passenger space, and a stellar range. Could the Airbus A220 fly transatlantic routes? Could the Airbus A220 fly all the way from New York to London? In this video, we'll discuss the possibility of the Airbus A220 flying across the Atlantic. Stay tuned. Imagine a world where you could board a small 120 passenger aircraft to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Is that really a commercial possibility? While business executives may have experienced traveling in small jets across long stretches, will this become a reality for you and I? Before I really dive into answering those questions, please consider subscribing to my channel. More great aviation content like this is on the way, and the easiest way you can support creation of content like this is by pressing that red button down below. This week, 98.3% of you were not subscribed, so let's try to get that number lower by next week. The initial question of the A220 flying transatlantic came as the Airbus A220 was ETOP certified for 180 minutes. If you don't know what an ETOP certification is, it basically means how far you can fly with an aircraft away from the closest possible alternate airport in the case of an in-flight emergency. The A220 was given a 180 minute certification, which would theoretically allow the possibility of New York to London flights. For context, the Airbus A220 with the furthest possible range, the smaller Dash 100 variant, can fly 6,390 kilometers on a full tank. The traditional way to route a flight it's from London to New York is at around 5,550 kilometers. Even the slightly larger Dash 300 could accomplish such a feat with 6,297 kilometers of range. So, the A220 could theoretically fly non-stop to London and back. What about other European destinations similar to Paris? Well, the traditional routes, as calculated by air miles, would be at about over 5,800 kilometers. This would be a one-way trip from JFK to CDG in Paris. While this route is technically feasible, it's cutting close to the limits of what the A220, as, as configured right now, can handle. Thus, the safest bet for the A220 will be routes into Ireland or the UK. Routes into France are definitely possible, but just seem less likely given the current circumstances. However, the next question we need to ask is this. While these routes may be technically feasible, are they actually profitable? Will airlines really want to fly just 120 passengers across the ocean? Before I answer that question, please consider giving this video a like. If you enjoyed this video thus far, it's the easiest way to show your support. Ultimately, it really depends on the airlines, the markets, and the routes. I see little possibility for mainstream airlines flying hundreds of small A220s into large hubs like London Heathrow. Those types of routes are made for large, massive wide bodies like a 777, not small aircraft. Those routes are high density, and airlines probably won't want to use anything but something like a 777 or a Dreamliner. However, there does seem to be a possibility of the A220 flying into smaller airports like London City. Imagine British Airways replacing their legendary London City, Shannon, to New York route with the A220. What was previously carried out by an A318 AB bus could now be flown by a much more efficient narrowbody. Other new point-to-point -point routes could also be actualized with the A220. Routes from New York or other New England cities could go all the way to Manchester, Edinburgh, Galway, Liverpool, Glasgow, Birmingham, Sheffield, and more. The Airbus A220 could be an efficient way to redirect significant portions of hub traffic into smaller but more direct point-to-point -point travel. While there are many potential airlines that might consider flying such routes, the media's attention is focused on one in particular, that is the recent startup Breeze Airways.
Breeze's CEO, who also happens to be the founder of JetBlue, has made some interesting comments on what routes he's willing to fly into Europe. While he mentioned that flying from New York or London is not in the books, flying from smaller underserved markets like Burlington, Vermont, to cities in England or Northern Europe could most definitely be a possibility. He did mention that he'd want to add extra fuel tanks into the A220 to make more routes possible. Which begs another question. Is an A220 XLR possible? I guess it's a question for another video, but it's an interesting possibility. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll make a video covering that hypothetical. Breeze seems the most likely to try and fly transatlantic routes with the Airbus A220, but who knows when that will become a reality. Will they wait for an A220 LR or XLR to be produced? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed my content, I'd like to let you know of an exclusive opportunity to support creation of my content. If you'd like to support the channel, you can become a channel member. For showing your support, you'll get access to extra old content, shoutouts and videos, exclusive perks, recognition on my Discord server, exclusive chats with myself, and control over what videos I produce. Find out more by clicking the banner on your screen or in the description of this video. My Discord server is now available for any of you to join, so make sure to do so by going to the pinned comment down below. That's it for this video, I'll see you in the next.